Topic under discussion today is about this particular case in which particular individual has got uh, different eyes color. Now, what is the science behind? Let's know that. Well, first of all, I'll tell you people about this particular term that is heterochromia. This will help us understand a little bit about this case that we will discuss in detail. So we will get the detailed reason, the science behind this. Well, coming to the very first, in the beginning, there is the term hetero and chromia. These are actually two words. Hetero means other or different. Chromia means or stands for color. Different color yeah, or other color. So now what do we mean by this? Very simple. Here is the case with us in front of us that we are having different eyes color. One eye is having a color different from another one. Well, the reason behind is uh, just like we have skin in here. Different types of skin. We have varieties available and hair colors okay now these colors of the skin in here are because of what because of melanin which is produced by the melanocyte so the same is the case in the eyes in the eyes we have certain melanocytes that are responsible to produce melanin and then this melanin is responsible to impart color now coming to the different types of color if melanin is produced in excess in large amount that will impart brown or black color and if this melanin is produced in small amount in less amount so this will impart blue coloration and you guys see here at the star what does it mean now very simple this is my favorite color I like and love this color well so we got the concept from here that this is particular thing protein melanin which is responsible to impart different colors when it is in excess or in less amount so the difference in the melanin production is responsible to impart different colors in short okay now coming to the case here we got a person having one eye color totally different from the another now the reason behind is just this melanin in this particular single individual there is an unequal distribution of melanin in one eye and uh, in both the eyes okay unequal distribution is there in one eye it is excess in other it is less the case is here if it is in excess the color is brown and black if it is less the color is blue my lovely color well now this is according to science called is complete heterochromia we got the reason behind excess and uh, uh, decrease less or small amount of production of the melanin means melanin is the reason behind got it and this is very less in humans it is actually one percent and it is a uh, almost uh, actually one can say a common type considered that in animals so most of the cases we can observe in animals of this type and uh, along with that we have two other cases uh, central heterochromia and uh, sectoral heterochromia in central heterochromia the inter central portion of the eye is different from the marginal portion whereas in sectoral portion just a single small portion of the eye is different from the entire color now what is the reason behind or the reasons behind very simple the very first is genetic this is because of genetic and uh, sometimes different coloration is observed because of injury or some medical problem okay so injury can be uh, the cause of this and some other medical problems can be the cause of such kind of coloration or different colorations and uh, genetic is considered as the most in these animals and humans like this so remember in humans it is one percent well uh, so this is all about the heterochromia different colors and my favorite color hope you got it. thank you for watching